Hey guys, my face is the same face that Carrie West's face is. Wait, I feel like there's an easier way to say that. Oh, I'm Carrie West, and welcome back to my photography channel. Do you like my hat? Do I look like a hipster? I hope so. We have a POV video for you today, taken here in Denver, obviously. Uh, there will not be a pug hidden in this video, unfortunately, but that means that he was with me. I had him hooked on my backpack, and it made for very interesting, but very distracting, but very fun uh, conditions. So without any further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> That is the cutest pug I've ever seen. <laughs> I know, isn't he amazing? He is so cute. I think he's like full grown too, he's just tiny. He's perfect. I know. <laughs> so we start off here in Lodo again on a pretty cloudy day uh, with plans to meet up with Ty yet again. I started with the Sony 20mm just to kind of shoot some bigger scenes, some like grand architectural sort of cityscape stuff and just sort of play with the edits in Photoshop and try to make them pop as much as I could. That's always really fun to me. And of course, with a little smelly black pug, I was stopped roughly every few minutes by people who wanted to pet him or he wanted to get pet by. So that was really fun. It's, it's actually really nice to have such an overwhelmingly positive force with me. It just, I think it just puts people at ease a little bit, whether that's conducive to not being noticed is another story, but most of the time I don't really care if I'm noticed anyway. I kind of tend to find spots and wait for people to go through them most of the time anyway, so it really doesn't bother me when people see me. <laughs> What's the matter? You scared of the beans? What's up, guys? What's up, man? No, I'm just, I was going to see if he's going to get scared of these oh. things. Yep. <laughs> so as I said, I wanted to take some grander photos and really play around with the light sources in Photoshop since we didn't have much uh, direct light. And I think this one's pretty cool. It's, it's a little bit chaotic, but I love how the light is hitting these three plants. And I really emphasize the, the sky being the light source sort of softly cascading across the whole scene. Most of these 20mm shots just didn't really turn out that great, with this one being no exception. Um, it's definitely fun to play with the super wide lens, but it's hard to fill the frame with something interesting when there's so many things going on. Uh, nobody really interesting came by here, so I just I sat for a minute, but then I moved on. And here I switched over to the 85. It's just one of my favorite lenses in an effort to get a little bit more focused with the images. And I actually really kind of like this one. I like how there's two vehicles behind them, but they're all sort of looking in the same direction. I just thought it kind of added a little bit of mystery to the shot. A lot going on in this one again, but I, this is one of my favorite uh, spots to sort of look all the way down this long street up here on this bridge because it sort of gives you a vantage point. And just the shape of this dude's body as he was running across the street was really striking for some reason, so I, I kind of like this one. I did go a little bit muted as far as the colors were concerned on these next couple. It's another little area that I really love shooting in. Uh, all these buildings, a lot of them have like this concave shape to the windows and it just makes for some interesting hey, shapes when the light hits it. This was just perfect timing. I just happened to be walking by as he was sort of pushing the skin on his bald head up a little bit. And I really love shooting all these little bubble tents everywhere because there's, you know, really probably the only time in our lifetime that we're going to see this stuff before they're taken down forever. It's 
sat here for a few minutes waiting and hoping somebody would either walk by that window or something and the security guard came up and just perched up right through there right at the right time. This is one of my favorite images, I think. It's just a really nice framing. Stomped my foot and this bird almost flew away, but instead he kind of made a heart shape. A love bird, if you will. Take a couple shots, you guys playing? Yeah. I'll take a couple shots. <laughs> Have at it, man. Yeah, cool. cool, yeah. But I yeah, just do your thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, just lose a chess game uh, right in front of you, like nothing ever happened. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> no biggie. Again. Couldn't be any worse than what I would do if I tried to play. Prove it. I don't even know how to play chess, to be honest. <laughs> You're horrible? Come on. Please. You're <laughs> My money where your mouth is, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we can do that too. Girls gotta make a buck. Where's my wig? What? No. You shut up. It's Memorial Day. Uh -uh. Play some music with America words. Okay? <laughs> Nelly, do Nelly, do Nelly. Mama, Papa, E I E I. That one. <laughs> That's American as it gets right there. I'm fine. Right? Isn't that the name of the song? I'm yeah, fine. <laughs> Billy Pie. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, Trying to win a damn game here. Got there, no? I'm lollygagging. No. See, when the camera show up, it steals my soul. Into the camera goes my oh, chest. Better luck next time, man. You guys have a good one. Dog. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, the dog yeah, doesn't want to become a loser. No, he's a, he's a, he's a loser already, man. Don't worry about what it. call that dog? Uh, you see the jerk? What is it? What do they call the dog? What's that? The jerk? You never seen the jerk? I don't think so. I just, yeah, it's a movie with Steve Martin. I, Oh, yeah, I, I, I haven't seen that in such shit. a long time. Whatever. Don't call your dog shit. <laughs> I call him worse than that. I'll... He is a little shithead. Anyways, that's a really cute dog. I'm a shithead because I can't play chess. <laughs> that's all right, man. That's all Better than me. Take it easy, man. Go ahead, have a good game. Stumbled on this little Japanese-inspired architecture over here in this building. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be shooting over here, but nobody kicked us out, so I'm going to keep going back until somebody throws me out of this place. It's such a cool little spot. The architecture and just the general artistic stylings of this place are so unlike any other place in Denver. I know that there's good opportunities here, and I definitely got one or two of my favorite shots of the day over here as well. Had to switch over to the 24 to 70 over here to sort of capture all the little nooks and crannies of this place. I think this one's probably my favorite of the day. I love the leading line from the railing and she's just like this almost too short lady sort of leaning over talking to somebody down underneath and I really took my time with it in Photoshop just sort of crafting the light. Yeah right there stay there. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a crab. We ended up shambling over to this new, newly constructed area called McGregor Square. It's like a really cool, tall office building, but it's got this giant 
courtyard in the middle of it with a huge screen for people to sit and watch, I don't know, whatever they play in there, but I figured we'd come over and check it out before it's filled to the brim with homeless people. But on that note, and on that shoe, this is the last one of the day, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, make sure you like the video and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy, then, uh, I don't know, shut up. I'll see you guys in the next one.